What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. UPS just stopped by and dropped an amazing package down. Let's go down and see what I got. I'm here at the parking lot. I got my coilovers in. Here they are right here. They are Mega Racing Easy something something coilovers. I forgot what they're called. Look pretty nice. Packaging was pretty good. Has a 15 way dampening, adjustable height and all that stuff. I'm gonna install these. This one right here is the front, so I'm gonna start on that. Obviously, first thing you wanna do is take off your wheel. So jack it up and then take off the wheel. I'll skip to that right now. All right, so I got the wheel off. Got the wheel off, got it up in the air. We got a 17 right there. And then on this side, Closer to the door, you got the 14 right there that you want to remove. I thought these were eBay coilovers at first, but as you can see right here, you try to clean that off. These are Raceland coilovers. Crazy. I thought these were eBay's, but these are Raceland. I'm going to set you guys up and do a time lapse. So this one's a really long one, so it might take a while for me to take it out. Two hours later. So I wasn't kidding when I said this was a long one. Look how big this thing is. It's ridiculous. Now over to the top, the 14 mil. So this, this one's a lot smaller, as you can tell, compared to the other one that we took out came out quicker next you want to hit this arm right here so it can get off from the old coil over right here so you can see it got a little bit loose right here I just got to push down this whole assembly right here to get it completely off okay so I got it completely loose now we're gonna loosen the bolts on top. All right, so you guys can see the three bolts. One, two, three, and then two for the little strut bar thingy that's stuck on here. These are 14s, the big ones, and then these are 12s. These are pretty tight on here, so you gotta use like all your muscles. So right now the, the whole assemb the whole old Raceland coilover wants to fall, but I left that one nut on there. You can see it like right here, my fingers pointing at it. I left that one on there just so it wouldn't fall. So now we're gonna go back down, hold on to it, and take off this last nut. We're gonna drop it. There you go. There's the old Raceland coilover. Uh, these we had to use the OEM top hat mount because they don't come with one. So this is garbage. Not garbage. Garbage. Not garbage. And good thing about these, they come with new hardware. So we can get rid of those old rusty nuts, put these new ones on. All right, those are off. Time to put this new Megan Racing one in. My camera died, so I'm using my phone now. But uh, yeah. I'm trying to put the big ass bolt in, so let me try that again. Okay, 
got it in. Now to put the put the nut on this side. Got to need a, a wrench, 17 on the ratchet. And the 14 mil bolt, put it on the top one. Make sure that's nice and tight. All right, now we can go up top and bolt the rest of them in. Just like before, three, 14. And then just the, oh, just the two 12 mils right here that I left down on the floor. And voila, you got your front coil overs in. It's getting pretty dark now, so I'm gonna Hopefully it doesn't rain tomorrow. Uh, I have day off from work tomorrow, so I'm gonna try to do the backs tomorrow. If not, uh, I don't know when I'm gonna do them, whenever it's not raining. But uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next clip. Peace. All right guys, so it's the next day. I'm gonna try to hurry the two coilovers in the back. I'm gonna try to do that as quick as possible. So um, yeah, let's head to the back right now. First things you wanna do is uh, the little pad thingies, uh, I have it over there. Those are the things that are right here on the side. There's uh, You wanna lift this seat up. There's a 10 mil that holds that in. That's uh, right, right there. You can kinda see it right there. And then that comes off on both sides. And you wanna put the, the back seat down right here. So you have access to like the trunk area. Then there's a black uh, plastic trim that goes over here that covers the top of the coilovers right here. And same thing on the other side over there. So once you got that done, you got two 14 mils right here and the other ones back there. I already got everything loosened. Now we just got to lift the car up and get it loose behind the wheel. So I got the wheel off. Here's a old coilover to take this one out. Just this bolt right here. That's a 17. Comes out. It's a pretty long one like the one in the front that I did yesterday. So once you got that out, just head to the top and loosen the rest of them. We're gonna loosen the two 14 mils. One right there and the one back there. Good thing I loosened these the other day. I can just take these off by hand. Put it up there with the other one. It's being kind of stubborn, I can't take it out. There we go. Got which way you gotta like take it out. Here's the old one. You can see the boot was like the dust cover thing was ripping on this one. Just some bad coil over. So old one, new one. Much better. Same as the front. These back ones have adjustable dampening, adjustable height, and all that good stuff. Just gonna put it next to the old one just to make sure they're like kind of the same height. Line it up like that. These look a little taller. Let me come with new hardware too. These are a little bit taller. I might have to adjust it. Once it's on the car, let's put this one in. Be smart to take off the hardware.
Okay, so when I try to put these in, oh, this part is straight, not side to side for the boat to go in. Oh, all I really had to do was just twist it and it kind of turned into the right position. So I'm gonna try to hammer it in, see if it goes. Alright, grab your bolt. Stick it in the hole. Alright, it's halfway in. Now I've got to grab my 17. It's nice and tight now. Let's head to the top and tighten the 14s. Looks so good in there, doesn't it? Much better than these Raceland ones. Up here, got the 14. New hardware already on top. I'm gonna use my wrench. I didn't realize I wasn't recording. This back one is kind of hard to do with one hand. So I'm gonna put the camera down and tighten that one. I was able to get my half inch uh, ratchet in there with the 14 mil deep socket. I was able to get that into the back one and I got that one tightened down already. That's how you install your front and rear coilovers in a 2003 to 2007 Honda Accord. I'm gonna uh, end the video here because I still gotta do the other side. All right, yesterday I did the two fronts. I showed you guys one side and then today I did one side of the rear and now I'm gonna do the other side. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.